Hi, water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. This reading is for those of you in a third party or love triangle situation. This is a collective reading for water signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same water sign. And I'm so sorry for my voice because I'm losing it a little bit. <laughs> Please bear with me, I'm gonna get your reading started, okay? Spirits and angels, please show me for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Please give me some details, information in regards to their third party or love triangle situation. King of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a um, an Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or a Fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I'm seeing Cancer here as well. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius can be any sign. And when I say somebody, uh, that means it could be you, your person, or the third party. It could go vice versa. Okay, just take what resonates with you. Queen of Wands in reverse. This is the other woman or the other man. It's not gender specific. I do sense somebody is going to make a choice between two, right? Two of wands here. The six of wands here in my verse, I'm sensing a rejection will happen. Um, I'm sensing rejecting the third party, okay? Because again, the queen of wands is the other woman or the other man. And the chariot here indicates somebody wanting to move forward or move on from being in a third party situation but the page of swords here is in reverse five of swords in reverse yep i definitely see somebody giving up being in a third party situation or giving giving up on the third party okay could be either or it could be both the king and the queen here belongs to the same element fire so but the Queen of Wands here is in reverse. Some bad memories in regards to the past. Eight of Wands, some bad news. Bad news in regards of I'm not returning to this person. I'm not choosing to be with this person. But again, I'm getting this energy of back and forth as well. A choice may have been made saying I don't want to see this person again. And then someone starts to think twice, doubting doubting their words doubting what they have said doubting their choice as well right because six of wands in my voice it feels like there's an energy here where somebody actually liked the attention from the other person and when they're not getting it anymore then they start looking back to that person who always gives them that attention with the king of wands still checking up on the other person or will still be checking up on the other person, spying on the other person. Again, it could be you, the person, the third party. Let's see more. <laughs> seven of Swords. You know what? This Seven of Swords has come out a few times already in the other readings. So, spirits know this is a third party reading for sure. And even with the Queen of Wands, keeps coming up as well. So, all right. King of Pentacles here in reverse indicates somebody who is not loyal, somebody who is a cheater, a liar, right? Um, with the Seven of Swords here beneath the King of Pentacles in reverse. We've got the world here as well. It feels like mm, it goes round and round in circles. It's almost like someone is deciding or has decided or will be deciding that, you know what, I'm... I'm going to cut the third party out. I'm going to cut the third party out. But constantly just returning to it. Constantly returning it, uh, returning to it. It feels like I can't help it, that kind of an energy. I can't help it but be drawn to it. I can't help it but to be drawn to the third party. It keeps returning to the third party. Even though there have been some conversations saying that, okay, I'm not returning any more Six of Cups. I think this is a bad idea. We shouldn't be together. But then there's this energy where even though 
this person has said that, but they're not actually keeping their words and keeps returning, okay? Just give me one second. I'm going to drink some water here. <coughs> So, the hermit is here, and it kind of feels like what is like somebody wants to do the right thing, wanting to do the mature thing, the wise thing, you know. But there's this energy, it feels a bit like an addiction, it feels a bit like I can't help it. But I, even though I said that I'm not going to be with this person anymore, I'm not going to return to this person anymore, I'm going to cut off this connection. But this, this energy of keeps repeating it. Because the world is right here it feels like it's going round and round and round in circles but i feel like somebody eventually is going to make a decision okay to let go of one person here and then start a new chapter with the other person that's an energy of five of swords and reverse where you know i maybe i want i want the cake and eat it too but i don't think i can right I don't think I can be a cheater or a liar for too long. I don't think I can win this game. So I, I have to make a decision. That's what I'm getting here, okay? Could be you, your person, or the third party. The Emperor can indicate this person could be an Aries, and the um, Hermit can indicate this person is a Virgo. See, a choice will be made, but then at the same time, it it feels like a choice that has been made already this already sitting in the past position a choice may have been made already but then it's like but i still want to <laughs> i can't help it i still uh, i'm still going to see this person even though somebody has said like no i'm not gonna see you anymore but and then you know seven of swords still sneaking around seeing the other person okay let's see a little bit more Justice here is in reverse. Justice in reverse can indicate separation, a divorce. Somebody here may be married or be, may, may be separated or could be uh, divorced, okay? Yeah, I definitely see an energy of somebody finally deciding with the Ace of Pentacles here to drop the third party, drop the other person. And then make a choice to start this new connection with Ace of Pentacles. Um, I feel like it's a big promise because there's a world here as well. Someone is going to make a promise saying that, okay, I'm going to cut off the third party and then I'm going to be with you. But then um, my only concern is the Eight of Wands and the Six of Cups here uh, and the Seven of Swords. There could be a chance of somebody like still sneaking around behind the other person's back but eventually knowing and understanding with the foul sword here in verse that it cannot it cannot go on like that anymore okay can your person could be a fire sign aries sagittarius leo libra gemini chris with the king of swords here yeah we've also got the ace of wands See, this is the reason why I'm seeing that because it's like on one hand, it's somebody that someone's going to choose that one person whom it's going to give them a sense of stability, security, while this the other choice here where I feel it's going to give this person an excitement, some sort of an excitement. Again, it could be you, your person, or the third party. But I do see, see, look at the Wheel of Fortune here first. So it's feels like it's going around and around in circles it's been happening like that as in somebody may be promising or saying that okay i'm not gonna be with the third party but still keeps returning to the third party right but eventually someone is gonna cut the other person off with the king of swords here somebody will get cut off and but there's this, still this lingering energy where i'm still wondering how is the the person i've cut off is doing for some reason, the desire is still there, the passion is still there, but then wanting to do the right thing, wanting to make the right choice, right? I think maybe because somebody here just liked the attention so much, when they, do, when they don't get the attention from that one particular person, they, they feel the need to try and get this person's attention. 
by returning, right? Mm -hmm. I see an offer. Uh, water signs is your reading, right? I see an offer here, most likely to you, but then again, it could go vice versa. I see somebody here offering you a new beginning, but you're gonna you're gonna doubt it, or that you're gonna check and make sure that they are 100 percent sincere or that spirits could be encouraging you to do so okay because the king of pentacles here is in reverse there are some doubts in regards of a um offer um that somebody is making or will be making in the future offer of commitment all right what are signs pisces cancer and scorpio this is your reading hope you resonated in some way shape or form if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'll leave you with a few playlists on the screen right now the first one is from my second channel it's a travel vlog channel check it out if you want to and there are other playlists um and it has all of the readings that i've done for you and for the rest of the signs they are still relevant because i post them almost every single day um, check it out if you want to. And I hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Take care, water science. Bye.